All right, hello and welcome to your line video as per requested by many of you for the licensing event on July 6th this weekend. It will be our first licensing event for the fourth season of the Virtual Drift Championship. After speaking with the judges and uh, knowing what they want to see out of the runs from, from you guys, I set out to make uh, the best run I could uh, sort of possibly do. Uh, and then ended up choosing this run specifically uh, for reasons that uh, me and Chris can sort of elaborate on uh, for you guys uh, on how to improve this run, uh, what was wrong with this run, uh, and, and what could have been better. So we'll first watch this run uh, through TV cameras and an inside uh, car cam uh, through my VR headset. Then after that, it'll move on to a third-person chase camera, which the judges will be using this weekend to judge everyone. And uh, we'll have Chris come in and uh, elaborate on some things. So again, let's first watch this run from these two camera angles, and then we'll do some explaining. Alright, so if we come back to that third person view you see here, we'll uh, bring Chris on in. Hello, Chris. Aloha. Aloha. Alright, we'll move on down this uh, first little straight stretch here. Um, I know we've stressed before if we were doing this battles that the lead car would stay on the uh, outside lane here, allowing the inside car to dive through the inside. Uh, Chris, that's not really going to be a thing for this licensing event, correct? No, for licensing, um, it doesn't really matter what the lead does. Uh, it's more a case of allowing the lead to set themselves up as best they can for the most, well, uh, uh, not a word that you'll hear me say often, but aggressive and stylish run. Ooh. At the end of the day, it's we're not as worried about this being chaseable um, for uh, as a lead run would be in battles. It's more about giving you a chance to really throw down and try and put down the best run you possibly can um, rather than it being as worried about things like uh, yeah having an XLD cell map which is why we haven't bothered having an XLD cell map it's being left a bit more open to interpretation to give you guys a chance to try and impress us really all right so go ham get rowdy essentially there you go all right we'll move on up the course here and uh, we'll talk about this entry in this line as I uh, come down the hill here yeah, uh, basically it's a case of, unfortunately, Craig's widest point is about 30 foot down from where the clip is. Uh, the ideal line for this would be as you flick into the entry is getting your bumper just scraping that wall and then make, slowly making your way back off that rumble strip, down back onto the white line and then gently bringing a nice arc from this point down into that inner clip. In a very similar fashion to what Craig's done, really, uh, just with the caveat that you should be the widest point should be on the clip so you know on that wall and then pushing down off from that point back towards the inside Chris. to be fair um, once you've got past the clip really the line that craig is on is pretty much the ideal because if you hold this like nice wide line down through into the inner you can pretty much just throw the car in max angle max lock big smoky drift lots of throttle input without need to make a correction but if we move on down from clip one towards clip two, 
uh, you will see that Craig does make a little correction. As he comes into the inner, he just starts to float on the foot brake, uh, just to pull that car off the inner clip so he doesn't make a mistake, but in so doing he has made a correction, which would be a line deduction anyway, because obviously he's had to make a correction rather than just getting the line correct as you come down through the clip. But it is only a minor one. Um, it would be a larger deduction if you uh, were to accept the fact you're going off track and drop tyres. Um, as we've highlighted for here, it's white line is the uh, edge of track. Obviously, it's different on the first clip because, you know, it's a wall. From this point, however, it's a really clean run. Um, coming off two, three, you know, three and four are both really clean. It's just then coming back round off of four into five, where he's just about two foot short of that clip. So you can just see the rear tyres could just be that little bit deeper. But other than that, that's pretty close to what we're after. Uh, and then again, as we come off five into six, he's just a little bit late coming down into the inner. So you can see his uh, front tyres just don't quite make it all the way into that clip. So if you can just, you know, just tighten it up there, get that bit closer to that inner clip as you push round into the last corner and the last transition. Where again, Craig transitions just that little bit late, which sets him up for a bit of a shallow line coming into seven but then it also has set him up poorly coming through eight so then once he hits the last clip he's also off that inside so the big thing to remember off six into seven is just get yourself set up transition nice and early and nail that wall ride because if you nail that wall ride you should be set up nicely then to push back down into the inside and finish out the run right and i've seen a lot of people asking about this last curb as well uh do you want drivers finishing out on this last curve or just inside of it using that white line as the track edge? Um, on that one, I don't really have a preference. It's just whatever you do, I want you to be demonstrating car control. So if you come off of clip eight and then your car just washes out off onto the rumble strip, well, then that has to be a deduction because you've somewhat lost control of the car. But if your natural line is that you're carrying loads of speed through A and you just naturally take a wider line, it's fine. Um, for me, it's more about, at that point, is just demonstrating that you are still in control of that vehicle to the end of the drift. That's that's my big point. And that is a point that I tend to make throughout um, rounds of competition, is that I want to see guys in lead do, is demonstrating car control, is making it very obvious what they're doing. So almost telegraphing what you're going to do because of how smooth you are through a course it just makes it really easy to read both for the judges and also for that chase driver um, when it comes to battles if if you're consistent and it's obvious what you're going to do before you do it it makes you that much easier to chase and that's what we want we want to see good battles and we want to see people getting on doors so it's, it's all to facilitate the uh, the battle really right exactly um we'll back it up for a second too um as far as this entry line here coming down the hill i do see a lot of people driving towards the inside pretty much right after this first outside zone rather than uh carrying the outside line there uh yeah. what would you rather see carrying the outside line here and then driving in or the driving recommendation in? would be to hold it a little bit wider that bit longer uh, it doesn't have to be as extreme as you've done here um but if you just hold that wide line for that bit longer before you make the dive down to the inside the arc you draw through the corner is much more natural, which allows you to just keep on power and then not fall off the track coming into clip three there. Because the problem you'll see if people take that inside line coming in is that the car naturally then, the second you've hit that clip, you're being thrown out off the track almost. So right, yep, and having to think racing of line savior. really is, yeah. is what that is. It's uh, if you take that late apex, the car has a better chance of just matching the corner and pulling around rather than being thrown back off towards the grass right another reason i also chose this run is for this uh left foot brake stab here as i see a lot of people asking about using left foot brake around the course um and definitely wanted to use this as a here is an example of a correction using the left foot brake and that would yeah. be a deduction rather than yeah smoothly but as using I, it but as i also said it would be a minor deduction because it's it is also a good demonstration of car control to see that you were going to make a mistake and then use one of the tools available to you with either your foot brake or your handbrake or your steering input to correct for that and then maintain the good line obviously it would have to be a small deduction because it is a slight error but it's a lesser deduction than if you were to just sort of go eh, and just drive straight off track right Exactly. Um, coming into outside four here, where I was a little bit shallow, 
Um, I've heard you say you do not want rear tires on this rumble strip out here, as the rumble strip uh, once yeah, it the ends, rumble you're strip off track. ends very abruptly just after the clip. Uh, and also, I've noted from driving it myself that if you do go up on the rumble nine times out of ten, you're probably going to spin anyway because you won't be able to get the car back off the rumble in time because of where the clip is placed. So for that one, treat the white line as sort of track edge. Yeah. Um, if you can just about blend like half a tire onto the rumble and get away with it without going on the dirt, fair enough. Um, but there's no need to be a complete hero there. Just make it consistent yeah for sure well chris i do thank you for uh sitting down with me and uh doing this we'll uh, let this video sort of play out with some cool camera angles and we'll see everybody uh july 6 4 p.m british standard time correct that's the puppy and that would be uh for drivers meeting everybody is supposed expected to be there uh, in Discord and voice chat. Mics will be muted though because it's going to be a lot of people in one channel. But uh, hopefully we're going to have some fun with it. Hopefully we'll see some some wild and crazy rowdy runs. And uh, we'll see people uh, get their license. Uh, 25 drivers will be getting a license, correct? Yep, we're giving out 25 licenses here uh, and there's potential that we might be running another event before the start of season as well. well. There you go. Well, good luck to everybody and we'll see you in just a few days.